the codes of ethics have become much more user-friendly. They're much smaller in cases. They're more relevant to how an ordinary individual sees it. There are questions and answers in it. There are illustrations. Um, and it is a useful document, whereas before it was, well, it was put in the top drawer. Well, when I first came into uh, the business ethics world, as it were, it seemed to me very clear that guidance to staff was the critical thing if you were to cut out the number of ethical lapses that were appearing. <clears throat> so I concentrated on uh, working on what was the best ingredients of code and also what they would look like and all the rest. At that time, hardly anybody had this guidance that were given. I remember ringing up one uh, large organisation uh, that I'd uh, had their code and I wanted to use it as an illustration in a, in a, in a pamphlet, uh, a booklet I was doing for the Institute. I asked them if I could get permission and they rang me back about an hour later and said, look, we're very sorry, we can't find a copy of this code. Do you think you could send us one? And it, it sort of illustrates the fact that it was not seen as very important to give everybody to have this. Now, since then, the importance of having a written uh, guidance to staff has increased out of all recognition, not just in quantity, but also going down uh, uh, to, into smaller organisations. And also the content has changed, obviously, quite a bit. A lot of them were about particular issues, just a list of issues. But now it's more broken down into the dilemmas you're going to find in relation to different stakeholders, for instance, suppliers or other imp colleagues and, and all the rest of it. And also the look of them has changed radically. They've become much more user-friendly. The illustrations are there. There are questions and answers. In it. There are illustrations. There are telephone numbers to ring up if you need help. None of that was there originally. And they, they, they have changed or evolved, I think is the right word. And they'll go on evolving. Um, if it's, you, could have, you can get them, read them up online now. And, and all sorts of things like that are happening uh, with, with, with codes. But it is still a key thing to helping the um, ethical culture of an organisation. Mm -hmm.